still stretching them out with the feet. I come back to a plank position and push the hips to the hands and breathe into the abdomen. And then to the push-up, allowing the air to come out. Extending the spine from the hips and the shoulders and evenly throughout the body is challenging. I oppose the spinal extension with a spinal flexion and then a neutral shaped spine. In this lunge movement, the left hip is flexed, the left knee is flexed, while the right knee is extended, right hip is extended. And this gives opposition in terms of musculoskeletal action, but also in terms of blood flow. Because this hip and knee will allow the blood to flow through them easily. But the left hip and knee will not allow the blood to flow easily. As I bring the head down, I'm stimulating the sympathetic ganglions of the nervous system in the back of the body. It increases the body temperature. Taking my right heel to the floor, I prepare to side bend, but before I bend sideways, I have to acknowledge that hip and shoulder movements, especially in extension, can cause spinal extension, which is not a good thing to do when you're doing side flexion. So, I lift the ribs of the left side away from the floor to lengthen my left lower back. Then I push the left sitting bone in the direction the navel is pointing. And then from there, that firms the left side of my abdomen. The right side is still fairly soft. I then breathe into the abdomen, firm but calm. And then take the right hand forward and up. So now the right side of my spine is longer than the left. I enhance that by pushing my right armpit towards the chest, past the ear, and my left shoulder closer to the hip and closer to the floor. Then tractioning the uh, left median nerve and the left pericardian acupuncture meridian. I'm tractioning also the right uh, lung meridian and some of the nerves of the brachial plexus on the right hand. If I do this, it's more for the uh, uh, radial, uh, median nerve, rather. And then coming back to a lunge position. Stepping forward makes it a bit easier to stand safely. I push the sitting bones forward. And these exercises, which include lengthening the front of the hip, make it much easier in everyday life then to not have lower back pain. A lot of lower back pain relates to stiffness in this muscle. And by lengthening in a simple lunge, which can be made much simpler than this, you can then relieve a lot of lower back pain.